This was pretty white pilling though. This Fox News segment a couple days ago on Tucker. What has all of this isolation done to kids. children? Well, until now we've had to guess about that. But tonight we're hearing firsthand from a 10 year old. His name is John Provenzano. He lives in Martin County, Florida. He spoke the other day at a school board meeting to describe what being forced to wear a mask has done to his life. Watch. I love my school and all, but my teachers seem really stressed and that makes me feel bad. One teacher walks around with a clipboard full of referrals for any student whose mask isn't on promptly. It makes me feel scared. That same teacher yells at us having our mask down to drink water while we are outside in Carline. I have always hated teachers. I don't understand the veneration that we give teachers in society. I, I've, I've never understood it, dude. I think teachers need to be fucking, like, rebuked. <laughs> You know, we need to we need to shove some teachers into some lockers, you know, along with the lab coats. She told us we had to wait until we were in our parents' car to have a drink of water. She had her mask down the entire time while she was yelling at us. Dude, that kid has <laughs> That kid kinda has like a Tucker affectation. She had her mask. He watches Tucker, dude. Very mad. This happens a lot. And it seems unfair teachers take their masks off while they're Yell while well, they yell at us kids and that we need to pull ours up. My mask also sticks to my face when it's really hot and yep. it makes it hard to breathe. It's, yeah. I feel like I oh, you know who else can't breathe? The black lies can't breathe. You know, I know I know somebody at home is saying that. Um, and here's the thing. I mean, if you want to suffocate kids who are not affected by this disease uh, in school all day, make them depersonalize, have them sit in these stupid little plastic dividers. Have them like sit six, stand six feet apart in line waiting for lunch or recess or whatever because you're just a lying, dumbass, progressive idiot who doesn't look into things properly. Uh, I think that you're just straight garbage. Um, and I think that, you know, <laughs> basic human empathy and compassion and, and facts and science basically demonstrate all that. I can't catch my breath and that makes me feel claustrophobic and anxious. It's really Yeah, I mean, like these kids are killing themselves and the kids are getting addicted to drugs and probably porn and junk food and just being isolated and it's probably not and in a lot of different school districts there's probably no sense of community at this point for the past year like it's probably just felt like these kids live in bubbles their faces must just be so blank dude <laughs> you know stressful i finished taking all of my fsas and i had a hard time focusing with a mask on a few weeks ago i ran into my teacher outside of school she didn't even recognize me. Yep. Because she's never seen my face before. Depersonalization. But I knew it was her because she sits at her desk and walks without a mask on. I know my teacher has asthma and everything, but I understand why it's hard for her to wear a mask. And I think she should have that choice. Yep. But I should too. I have allergies and I feel really anxious with my face covered. But I'm not allowed a mask break like her. It seems unfair. All this seems unfair and it doesn't make sense. Dude, hell yeah. At least there's some kids that are going to stand up and be critical thinkers, and the teachers' union is going to make life hell for kids like this, and they probably already are. I remember just, you know, like, as a whatever it was, Spurgy ADD kid going through the school system, I never had a good run of it, dude. Like, I never... I mean, I, I, I always had a hard time with it, and I can't even fucking imagine going through school right now with this, with just, I mean, because I would know that it was all bullshit. At like, if I was 10, 11, 12 years old right now, I'm pretty sure that I'd be smart enough to know it's all bullshit, and I'd be suffering right now. I, I'd, be, I'd probably be sn snarky with the teacher. I'd probably get referrals and detention and demerits and shit, you know, I'd probably get... <sighs> put on like nine different drugs or something dude and like who knows what they do to the kids these days I miss when they disobey space. you know like when they when they when they like speak out against like feminist crap in, in the schools too like what happens to boys when they do that you know that's that's another reason why i want to get more cameras in classrooms for uh well i don't know if the page is up anymore but film your marks professors that was an awesome resource the way things used to be i'm scared they'll never go back to normal Breathing freely doesn't seem like something we should have to ask any other people for permission for. Hell yeah. We don't put a lot of children on this show, any actually, but John Provenzano seemed like an extraordinary 10-year-old, and so we are happy to be joined by him tonight along with his father, Mike. Thanks both coming on tonight. I appreciate it. You're brave, you're, you're brave to do it, and we're the beneficiaries of it. Actually uh, stunning John, brave. John, i ask you first. You, you said that wearing a mask makes you feel anxious. Can, 
T tell us what, what you do feel like when you have to wear it at school. Well, when I have to wear it at school, it it almost like builds up stress in it's me in me. I'm like, wait, what do, what do I do? It's like, who's this? Who's that? It's like, I don't recognize anybody. Mm hmm. Disorienting. Really? I just and you said you don't. said later in your in your talk, and we didn't play it, but it was I thought the most poignant part. You said you saw one of your teachers outside of school, and she didn't recognize you. She didn't know what you look like. Yeah. Exactly. Because we're stuck in a classroom while wearing a mask for seven hours a day. So she's actually never seen me or any of my classmates' faces before. So when I bumped into her out of school, I said, oh, hi. And she's like, oh, wait, that's you? And I'm like, oh. Well, yeah, yeah. I, I hate teachers, man. Me. And she's like, oh, hi, John. I really don't see your face because all I see is just your eyes. Dude, this is this is a full-on anti-teacher platform. I, I think teachers use this COVID ruse, this scamdemic crap to leverage. They, and they use the kids to leverage more gibs for themselves, more pay, you know, more benefits. Ugh. More, more programs are like for the youth and the bleaks and the womans, but it's you know it's just obviously just one big power and cash extraction, you know that's all it is. That's all it ever was. It's all the fucking Democrat Party and like by extension bankster class financed fucking teachers union is about. It's just fucking horrible, man. Oh, that and, so and that's your tax special. money too. What, why do you think? Why do you think they're making you wear a mask? Do they tell you? Probably to allegedly keep us safe, but I just don't see any science behind it. I don't see yep. the science behind the masks work. Are do they ever explain the science to you? No. No, just do they it. They just simply tell us, just wear it. It keeps you safe. Just wear it. That's it, all they tell us. It doesn't, Do they though, yell it... at you? What do they say? Yeah. Like, how, how does it keep you safe? It's like a disgusting, snotty Petri dish on your face. How the f... That doesn't... What? They <laughs> Sometimes. Oh, they, they literally say, I'm done. Put your masks on because you're being disrespectful to all of us teachers who have to work really hard. And I'm like... Well, you should be disrespecting these teachers. Good. That's, that's why, okay, like, damn... <laughs> Parents who don't have an instinct, dude, parents should have an instinct to side with their kids over teachers that talk shit about their kids all the time. Like, if you are if you have a teacher that's trying to, like, brand your kid as, like, a behavioral problem or something, um, you should probably tell the teacher to go fuck themselves, like, nine times out of ten. Like, working. you're being disrespectful. And that's, that, I remember that was, like, a, a mark they could put on your report card. I remember that. I remember that disrespectful to authority or disrespectful to teachers, which basically just, again, it means that you're a spurgy kind of like, you know, riddling kid who asks too many questions that are too logical and too, you know what I mean? Too like, too data, like too robotic, <laughs> like too logical for these women who shouldn't fucking be in the workplace to begin with. But that's a whole nother podcast. It's hard too. It's, it's almost a hundred degrees outside wearing cloth masks and you expect us not to be hot and complain it's just oh, insanity the, this this <laughs> nicely put and also narcissistic uh, so mike i have to ask you do you I mean, has the school ever communicated to you why they're doing this that the, the chances of course of a 10 year old dying from COVID are much lower than being, you know, eaten by lions. So have they explained why they're doing it? No, Tucker. I mean, I started asking the basic question with my wife. At what point do we end this mask mandate and get to mask optional? Uh, I guess when white people do things that Blake's have been doing for the past year over frivolous things, except over things that are legitimate. Uh, in Minecraft. <laughs> so I started asking questions with the principal and ran up the chain to the school board and there was no apparent answer. There's there's no objective evidence. They hadn't looked at um, this for over seven months from when they did the school reopening plan. 
Um, so it became apparent to me that no one was really looking at this, and if this was, this should be the most important thing. We're talking about the health and well-being physically and psychologically of our children. Yeah, and well, it seemed like no one was paying attention to it. This is also peak conservatism. Is like, I'm sure this guy has some inclination or inkling that schools in general are kind of lefty indoctrination camps for kids. And to give, like, useless women, like, busy work to make them feel involved in society. <laughs> um, and they're basically just daycare centers for other women that are irresponsible with their families and stuff. Uh, same with daycare centers. It's amazing to me that, like, so-called conservative men are sitting here, like, begging to get their kids back in school. You know, seeing what the teachers are doing, making their kids wear the mask. Why aren't... It's like... Why even... I mean, I, I don't know. It's like... This segment is, 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 it's sad that a segment like this is quote unquote white pilling, I guess is what I'm trying to get to. Because this is barely any sort of real response. You know what Managing I mean? the situation in terms when, of compared to what's when do needed. we actually get to mask optional? When does that happen? Did, did the principal and the teachers and the school board welcome your questions as a father? I mean, we get three minutes at a public meeting to comment. There's no dialogue. Um, so there's no transparency. <clears throat> they, they, they quote that they're following the science, but they haven't <laughs> provided one scintilla of what that science is that they're relying on like to make the basis of this decision to keep the kids mandated in mass when everyone else in the state of Florida, we have a great governor, you know, is saying, let's get life back to normal. When can it return back to normal for the kids? Why is the school exempted? from from this and why can they make their own rules which is counter to everything now you're hearing from the cdc finally and our government dude let's just be honest these are psychotic wine cat ladies who are torturing a lot of little boys that they don't like and trying to demoralize them so that they're more susceptible to this like critical race theory read anti-white theory anti-male feminist fucking theory fucking indoctrination dude so that they're more susceptible to the founding fathers or racist like that whole fucking crap which is you know viewers that are a little bit older know that like that stuff is way more ubiquitous and way more hardcore today than it was when we were going to school right this kid, or kids this age, are getting just completely lobotomized, dude. <laughs> like, Governor, and commissioner. guys like this are like, well, we, we have some concerns about uh, sending our kids to a lefty indoctrination center where he's forced to wear a disgusting, snotty Petri dish over his face for no scientifically sound reason. Now, we, we have some questions and concerns about the science rather than, like, you know, doing something way more... <laughs> I don't know. Of education, Fed. our school board is making this decision all on their own without any transparency or even rationale for why they continue to do this. So my producers are telling me that we have video of you, I think today, possibly, possibly yesterday, at the school board meeting, and it shows the kind of reception that you got. Right. Oh, okay, okay. It looks like yeah. you're being asked yeah. to leave. I was, you know, I, I, I was, <laughs> I was, you know, trying to wrap up my, my uh, comments and, and they asked me to... Okay, maybe this guy's a little bit more hardcore than I was giving him credit for. So, cause he's actually going there and like, maybe it's a little bit too here, spicy for TV. He uh, told me that I was trespassing, which I think from what I've heard is, means I'm going to be banned from speaking at future school board meetings. They don't like the message. They don't like the criticism. They don't like it when someone asks questions and tries to hold them accountable for the safety and well-being of 18,000 students and 2,000 staff members. Mm -hmm. Our school district has a positivity rate of less than 2%. Our entire county was less than 5% for the month of March. Do we have to get to zero? Yeah. And for how long do we stay at zero? When does this insanity end? This all started with and you're the, the father. You have a right to all this stuff happens because whites don't riot. Well, Ask spread. about your child. In Minecraft. Absolutely. What's more Except important just, than the health and safety what, what, of my child? Nothing. Nothing. And most parents just sit yeah. passively and let their kids be hurt by these lunatics. I have yep. to ask you one last question, John. It's insane. You said in these women would rather like go, I don't know, kick it at some dive bar and get wasted. I don't know, party, hook up, uh, pursue their career. You know what I mean? Pursue materialism and hedonism. They'd rather, and they, and, you know, and drop their kids off at daycare and school. They don't care about the masks. They, and they've convinced themselves that it's all correct. It's all kosher. Well, it is kosher. 
Oive, Oiga Vault, Oiga Filth Fish. Um, they've convinced themselves of this. Or, or they lie. Just, I, they don't care. They're negligent. <laughs> Tucker's right. They're just letting their kids be hurt by these lunatics. Your, your talk to the school board. Which Why? Cool, How? That you delivered. That you were confused because you were yelled at for pulling your mask down to drink water, but your teachers, as they were yelling at you, had pulled their masks down. Yep. What did that make you think? It's ridiculous. I mean, we, we had plenty of videos of the protesters fucking doing that. You know, they pull the, they'll pull the fucking uh, rioters, they'll pull their mask down to yell some stupid shit at you, some threat of cancel culture, and then they'll put the mask right back up. I was like, hmm, this does, this, is this the school policy? Are they allowed to take their masks off? Yes. While we're taking our masks, our masks down to get a drink of water? Is that the new policy? No, I don't think so. So a lot was just going through my head. It's like, what do you guys mean? You have your mask down when we have our mask down to drink water and you're yelling at us to... It, it, the big, fat, disgusting teacher probably had to take the mask down in order like Rancor or like T-Rex style scream at this poor little kid for taking a mask down for like a millisecond, you know. I fucking hate teachers, dude. I, I just, I think that, uh, you know, it's an intellectual position to oppose teachers. They're just glorified prison guard turnkeys. I've been saying it for years, man. They administer just, like, propaganda and just drugs, apparently. I mean, or, or, or that's it. Like, <laughs> it's just, when yours isn't and, now, and now just, like, mask enforcement and mask conformity and propaganda. It's just... There's no logic. <laughs> What's that called? <laughs> hypocrisy, right? Hypocrisy. <laughs> it's hypocrisy. Yeah. They don't they don't, they don't like what? it when a lot goes through your head. You are a skeptical young citizen and I hope there are millions more like you. John and Mike, thank you for coming on tonight. Yeah, it was pretty based.